What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is just gonna be my top tips for you guys while you're in quarantine or while you're in lockdown, whatever it is that you might be in, whatever your country's doing. Um, here in Australia, we're not in a full um, quarantine lockdown at the moment. But, uh, just kind of like self-isolating that kind of stuff but this goes for everyone and some of these tips might be really obvious to you but after the gyms closed and I was at working uh, that first week I just kind of laid in bed I didn't really do much I didn't um, feel like doing much and then I just pulled myself out of that and I started being productive with my day and have implemented these tips that have made a massive difference. So I guess I'm just making this video for anyone that was in a similar situation as me and you know, need some little tips to um, get the ball rolling and make their days a bit more productive and positive. So here we go. Uh, also I wrote my um, my tips down in this book because I knew I'd definitely forget them. Okay, so my tip number one is keep a routine. If you're someone like me and you thrive um, and you do better with a routine, then try and um, formulate a routine for you while you're at home because obviously you're out of your work and gym routine. Um, so create a new routine um, surrounding your home space, things that you can do. For example, you might say seven o'clock every morning and I go for a bit of a walk because I know um, even if you are in lockdown, where you, wherever you are in the world, I'm pretty sure you're still able to do blocks um, around your neighborhood. So that might be something that you put into your routine that you stick to because you'll feel so much better when you're hopping out and you're being productive and you know what you're gonna do in that day and you get it done. Um, I don't wanna say too much of my routine at the moment because I want to do a full um, vlog about it so stay tuned for that one but that's my tip number one tip number two this is a really obvious one but you know some people might not be doing this as soon as you wake up open up all your blinds and your window so you're getting fresh sunlight in fresh breeze in because that's just going to make it so much more um, enjoyable while you're at stuck inside rather than keeping the blinds out keeping it dark and like stale inside because you just are not going to feel motivated if you're in a stale dungeon okay no stale dungeons tip number three i have for you guys is if you're struggling to hop up and you're feeling sluggish and you're like well you know, there's nowhere to be today so i'm gonna just lay in bed all day no hop up Go for a nice cold shower because that will wake you up and that will get you uh, in the mood and get the ball rolling to have a fun, productive day, okay? Tip number four is still continue to get ready for your day. So when I did stop working and the gyms closed and I was just all out of whack, for the first week I was just staying in bed and I was just staying in my pajamas and ew, 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 ew. That's the worst thing you can do because you feel gross and you don't wanna do anything and it's just, yeah, that's, no. You're gonna get out of your pajamas, you're gonna get ready for the day. Um, if you wanna put a little bit of makeup on, do that. If you wanna do your head, do that. Whatever makes you feel um, better and ready for the day so you can actually do something rather than just be feeling gross and yuck because I made that mistake and it's disgusting and don't do it. I, I, I don't know, some people can do it, but ugh, staying in my pajamas all day is the, the worst thing you can do. I feel so gross. Even just thinking about it, I'm like, little oh, gross. So my tip number five is all to do with nutrition. Healthy eating, healthy man. <laughs> So you want to be eating some fresh fruit, vegetables, getting in that protein, um, drinking your water, three liters of water a day. You know, just those basic things that you guys will already know, but just trying to make sure you're staying on top of that because this is not a time, and I know it's so easy when you're in the home and you're bored and you're bored in the house. <laughs> Uh, you might be tempted to go off the rails and eat the whole house down because I know I get like that sometimes but you just need to pull yourself back and be like no because if you've lost your job and you're not working out as much because the gyms are closed 
that's the last thing you should do. That's not smart because you're just gonna put on fat. So you might wanna just put a few little things in place with your nutrition, like you might wanna keep a food journal or diary so you can have a look at the end of the day what you've eaten because i know that helps sometimes when you're eating you don't realize how much you're having or what you're actually really having until um if you've actually written it down you'll look back at the end of the day and you'll be like oh, okay okay something needs to change um or you might decide to um do your macros and count your macros or what i personally decided to do uh, i did try and do my macros for a couple of days but i'm like nah because I just intuitively eat a lot. That's what I prefer. But I have implemented some intermittent fasting. So I won't eat until about 10 or 11 a.m. in the morning. That way I've uh, cut out that big chunk of eating throughout the morning. So that reduces my daily calories. And I feel like that's helping so far. And I feel like that's doing good. So I'm gonna keep doing that. But I'll show you more um, in how I do that and what I'm actually doing when I do my vlog. Number six. So this one is to do with exercise and moving your body. I know it probably seems obvious, but I also know a lot of people aren't doing it. So I'm gonna say it. Keeping up your exercise routines. Is that what it's called? Routine? I don't know. But just because the gyms are closed doesn't mean you need to close your body for moving no, you need to still make sure you're exercising and you're working your body, you're moving your body because that's gonna release endorphins and you're gonna feel a lot better for it. So whatever you do, don't just be a freaking couch potato like this in your bean bag all day, or if you're lucky enough to have a couch. <laughs> um, get up and move, even if it's just a half an hour workout, get it done because you will feel so much better for it. Um, and also, it might not just be a home workout, it might be a walk that you do. Go for a walk, you know, get your body moving. That's the easiest, um, most obvious one out of all of them, but I know people aren't doing it, so move your body. Tip number seven. So this is all about, you know, it might be a little bit about professional development, mindset kind of thing. While you have this free time, read a book, Listen to some podcasts, you know, um, fill your body with all those positive things. Like, don't just sit there and be like, I'm bored. No, pick up your book, read a good book. If you want book suggestions, let me know. I'll tell you some of my books that I'm reading at the moment that I'm enjoying, or you guys can let me know what you're um, reading at the moment. Put it in the comments below. Um, or podcasts as well. Yeah, my favorite podcast at the moment is um, Mindset Mentor. He has a really great podcast and I listen to that in the morning while I'm doing my makeup because they're just short and sweet and it just gets me in the right mindset for the day. So I feel like that's a, that's a must as well. Tip number eight. So for this one is to do with Netflix or TV. I know while you're at home, it's gonna be tempting to just sit on the couch and watch movies, watch Netflix, watch the computer, watch TV, whatever you're gonna watch. But don't do that. <laughs> Make sure you're still getting up and you're doing something in the day. This is where it all links all the way back up to the tip number one, routine. Have your routine, still go about your day, be productive, still get things done, and then after 5 30 p.m or 6 p.m that's kind of what the time frame i'm working to it towards that's the time frame i'm working i can't talk about that's the time frame i'm putting for myself anyway that after 5 30 or 6 p.m that is when you can sit down and you can watch tv or you can watch netflix not during the day i feel like that's a helpful tip because you just don't want to get to a point where you're just being a potato. It all links in together. You don't want to stay in your pajamas in a dark, stale dungeon watching Netflix all day. No, don't do that. All right, so tip number nine. This one kind of is also a very obvious one, but people still aren't doing it. I'm guilty of that because I'll spend days in the house and I won't leave, but it doesn't make you feel good. 
you really want to get out, get some sunlight, get some fresh air. That's what you need in your life every day. So make sure that at least once in the day you're heading outside, you're feeling the sun on your skin, you're breathing in the fresh air because you're going to feel better for that as well. And lucky last tip I have for you guys, tip number 10, it is just to stay productive. Stay productive, stay busy. So I see people saying that they're bored, but I feel like you should definitely not be bored. Um, there's so much that you could be doing in this time. If there's something that you've wanted to study this whole for years, this is your time to do it. You're not doing anything else. Study, um, read those books that you've been meaning to read for years. That's my thing. I always had books that I wanted to read, but I just never did it. I never had time, but this is the time. Do some baking, do cleaning. Um, one that I've seen a lot on other people's YouTube channels, they're doing like a big spring clean. I know it's not spring here, but it is in America. And they're doing big, big clean outs of the house and their wardrobes and so satisfying so do a massive clean i already did a big big clean of our place and my wardrobe um you know you might have been saying for years i want to stretch or i want to learn to do the splits i want to learn to hand set well this is your time do it you might have said oh, i want to learn how to sew clothes okay well what are you doing then like this is actually such a good time. I know it's not a good time because of everything that's happening in the world, but then at the same time, it is a good time because all those things that you haven't had time for or you have never made time for, this is your chance to do it. So don't look back on this time and think, wow, I really wasted that time just being bored potato in bed watching Netflix. No. Make the most of it and get stuff done. And keep your body moving, get the fresh air, get the sunlight, drink your water. Do all of these things. And you're gonna have a good time in quarantine. Thanks for watching.